welcome to my youtube channel and as you can see i bought a new mic and so if you're new to the channel make sure you click the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back i can't hug you social distancing so yeah today we're going to be talking about colleges universities and bursary applications so yeah i don't want to waste much of the time like the other videos so it will probably be 10 minutes just 10 minutes you know? so watch the full video and thank you so much for subscribing we're at 800 subscribers so thank you thank you so much i'm so excited to know that you support you supporting me and thank you so much thank you with this mic i feel so professional but okay this is a um <laughs> so let's let's focus on the serious issue Firstly, we're going to talk about colleges. So when you apply to colleges, what do you need? Yeah, well, your metric results or your grade, I don't know about grade 11 results, but you should know, like you should just photocopy your final grade 11 report and go to a police station, certify it, scan it. Photocopy your ID and scan it, certify it. Photocopy your guardian's id certify it scan it then so so that you can have everything ready you know those are the three main documents in a lot of applications know that you know like make sure that you know your address and all that but do not fall for those scams do not fall for those scams where they'll be like this is the college of what 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 college yeah, well, Make sure that the college is registered with Umalusi. Check out Uguti College is MT20 or not. If the college is not registered with Umalusi, then don't apply for it. Yabo. So I will leave the link in the description box where it leads you to the to the list of colleges that are registered with Umalusi. FET colleges and TVET colleges and I don't know what other types of colleges are. But yeah, those ones please make sure that you apply in like to those colleges don't just apply to any college because so yeah and some other colleges are not credited by accredited by nesfos but some other colleges are accredited by nesfos so make sure you also apply for that you don't have to think the colleges are just lower standard than universities just apply swallow your pride and apply you don't want to stay home next year so yeah um if you're watching this and you're in metric and or oh, you're in grade level make sure that you click the subscribe button because you know you're gonna need this information so universities now let's focus on universities if you apply to to, to the university of your choice don't just apply to in to one university don't just apply to one at least four Gabon. they they can reject you z4 apply for different courses if you don't like other universities but the one that you like apply for the course that you qualify for actually you should apply for the course that you qualify for because applying trying to apply for a course you know what you get level twos but you want to apply for medicine which requires level sevens you're going to be disappointed so focus on meeting the requirements yeah, bon? do not that's why i said on my page do not settle for less because when you apply to university your marks should be competitive make sure that you get like high marks if you're in grade 11 make sure that your marks are very high they are interesting your final marks that report you should use it to reserve the space on the course of your choice you don't just use it to reserve to, to reserve a space you cannot just apply with poor monks just to reserve a space for medicine no they should be competitive the university should know which this this results are promising they should promise they should be promising but if you're in grade 12 and you got low marks in grade 11 you can still use them i need to you passed you can still use them and check the prospectus of each and every university so that you can qualify to apply for a course that you qualify for then work extra hard and exceed the requirements maybe if 
you managed to um, meet the requirements for the course that you always wanted at the end of the day then you do a change of mind you apply to that course next year after you receive your, your your metric results you apply for that specific course you wanted at the beginning of your of, of your metric year so please don't make any, any mistakes and sit at home and say i'm not applying i'm taking a gap year because i don't meet the requirements to do medicine a gap a gap year might be retirement it might be retirement so do not risk do not take risks just apply apply for anything that you you think you qualify for check the prospectus of each and every university we probably have 26 universities apply to all of them if you can if you have the money to pay for application fees on other universities you can just pay and apply yeah bom? and write the nbt test if you nbt test no nbt not nbt test nbt national benchmark test not national benchmark test test yeah, well. so apply for npt write the npt and this one is optional it's not compulsory but there are some universities where the npt is compulsory depending on the course that you're going to do so please make sure that you apply for everything that you qualify for and good luck with your applications if you need help with any of the applications you can just comment down below i'll help you for free i'll help you for free don't worry i won't judge and yeah i've applied for a lot of people so yeah um there are some universities where the website is free you don't need to use data to apply you can just in your free time just click on that maybe mandela.ac.za then you apply i will actually leave the link to the universities that you can apply for for free without any data and this is the last section of the video the buzzeries let me start with the world's okay south africa's favorite nsfas nsfas or whatever you want to call it nsfas it's very important to apply to nsfas apply to nsfas only if you qualify if you qualify one of the requirements is having a what household income of less than 350,000 per year per annum if i'm not mistaken I, I will just pin the comment with all the details but make sure you download the nsfas or nsfas consent form make sure your documents are certified your guardians documents are certified if you don't have parents like um i think you need to to, you need to go to a police station or their death certificate like you can just upload it yeah, well, if you do like your parents went missing or something you can just go to the police station make an affidavit and apply yeah, well, so please make sure that you apply for NS first don't let the opportunity ruling by ski apply for NS first so that you are safe even if you did not apply for university, apply for NSFAS so that next year when they open late applications for universities, you can also apply and they'll be, you'll be accepted probably. And then after getting accepted, NSFAS will be by your side and is Oktat and Yabom. There are other bursaries you can apply for. Abo, what? Salem, Cesar, what, 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 what? You know those ones that require 90% average. You can also get them if you study, man. Funda. And you get them, yabo. So, thank you so much for watching the video. We've come to the end of the video. Please make sure you click the subscribe button. Click the, that bell and turn it on. Because I'm going to be posting. And stick on my page. Stick to my page. Stick on my page. I don't know. It's whoa sometimes just keeps on running away. But if you got anything helpful please make sure you click the subscribe button and leave a comment below if you want to apply to any universities and or if you want more uh, advices just comment below and love you so much and like the video and share to people who need it who need it so thank you for watching the video and i'll see you on the next video